My parents came from Iran to Israel during the revolution in Iran when Khomeini took over. A lot of people who came from Iran, they just they lost everything because they had to either run away from Iran or like, go on camels. That's the story with my grandfather actually. On camels, like not without my daughter, that kind of thing. The whole family became Khozer B'Tshuva. We became more and more religious with the years. And we moved to Tzfat and that was when I started Ulpanat Bnei Akiva Meron. So even though we were only four girls who were interested in physics, they actually opened the program for us and we learned for three whole years. They gave a special teacher to teach us physics and uh, thank God I did that. That's actually what led me towards learning physics afterwards for my degree. I chose uh, engineering, biomedical engineering. I did my first degree in uh, biomedical engineering and my second degree in applied physics. And that all started from you know those three intense years where I studied physics in high school. And when I came to Hebrew University, I uh, did my research in electro-optics, um, specifically the interaction between lasers and matter in KLTN crystals. My main plan is to work in academia, that means to become a professor, to teach physics in colleges and university, and that's why I'm going up, up to the top. I'm, I'm doing my PhD and hopefully my postdoctorate in physics or applied physics, we'll see, and go on and, and teach it to the new generation. <laughs>
ואנחנו צריכים לעזור להם להוציא אותם מן הכוח אל הפועל. One of our graduates, Mrs. Dana Matsov, is a member in the team of Professor Ada Yonat, who received last year a Nobel Prize in Chemistry, and also her younger sister, that is also graduate of uh, our Ulpena, is now receiving her doctorate, PhD, in the Hebrew University in the same field. Having a good teacher, that's what makes me want to succeed. That's a big reason that I like this school, that the teachers really do care about their students. The teachers are amazing, like they're role models for all the girls. The yeshiva offers a lot of extra courses and extra activities that you can do. I enjoy studying in the Nakiva High School. I enjoy learning in it. I enjoy spending my time in it. It's really big fun. The school is not just a normal school. For my hand, it's a really high level school on studying and things like that, but on the other end, it, you know, they give you values about religion and makes you connected to your roots. If we want to give a, a full uh, 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 plan of studies, so uh, the families have to pay tuition, and uh, we have about 25% of the family that cannot there's a huge gap between the desire to give the very best we can and the limits placed upon us by budgetary considerations. We have to find a way to finance all our enrichment programs because so many students come from families who can't afford even regular tuition. Between 60 to 70 percent ask for reduction or a total waiver of tuition. I remember my parents were like, you know, you have to, like, you can't go study next year. Like, we're very sorry, but we don't have the, the means. And I like, we can't really help you. You're going to have to work for a few years and, you know, save up money and then go study. And I remember, like, that was, like, the worst news of my life. That was, I, I really, I burst into, like, tears. I was, like, really crying. And I was like, no, I have to, like, I have to go and study. <laughs> The Ministry of Education gives us a set budget and it's about a half of what we really need to do what we have to. It's a tremendous burden on the Ulpana and therefore we're always in need of extra funding. Yeshivot Bnei Akiva's philosophy has always been to meet the challenges of modern Israel and prepare the next generation of young men and women for important leadership roles in society. We see the enormous potential in each and every student. They are counting on us to help them fulfill their dreams, and we are counting on them to do their part in fulfilling the religious Zionist dream. They will take their place, as thousands already have, as committed and dedicated leaders in their fields, in size and technology, industry, education, and Israel Defense Forces. Just look at the recent elections. 16 members of the Knesset are graduates of our schools. After 16 years of building Yeshivot Bnei Akiva to be the vast educational network that it is today, I myself am about to begin a new challenge as Director General of the Ministry of Religious Affairs in Israel and hope to implement Be'ezrat Hashem much needed reforms there. Israel has been a tremendous success story in scientific and medical research, in high-tech. But the economic situation threatens that going forward. We can't afford to lose a generation because of financial constraints today. It would be tragic if the brilliant minds of our students are left to stagnate when we could stimulate them to greatness.